All right, you guys, this is a um, test day. I have bought a new Canon EOS M6, EOS M6. And yes, I said Canon. I know I'm a Nikon guy. There's two, two reasons for this. Uh, there was a lady a while back who mentioned that uh, she needed a camera around the two to three hundred dollar range in order to uh, shoot on her hiking and backpacking trips and things like that. And she was looking for the best option for that. At that particular price point, I mentioned to her that her best option was probably a gimbal and her and her cell phone. If I'm not mistaken, she had an iPhone. But at that price point, the cameras out there are just not that great, and you'll be very disappointed, especially if you shoot a lot with your mobile phone already, because they're so good and they work in a variety of situations um, for the outdoors, um, mostly as long as there's a lot of sun and there's not a lot of movement and you don't have uh, a need for a long telephoto, which a two to $300 range is gonna work in that same window. The other reason is, is because uh, my last kayak camping trip, I had a massive amount of difficulty shooting with uh, an 18 to 300 millimeter lens. It was a very inexpensive lens. I bought it specifically for hiking, but the quality of it was just depressing. That's the easiest way to say. I lost a lot of shots. That should have been a whole lot better. Um, but I was looking for something that was small and compact to take with me on hiking so I don't have to take out my pro glass you know, four or five pounds of camera gear in a backpack is, um, that's a lot of extra weight and that might only get you a body and a lens. So my hunt for something smaller, um, yet I still wanted interchangeable lenses so that I could have some control over that. And I looked at the Nikon line and they have the Z6 at 2000 and the Z7 at 3000. So, that was just not what I was expecting to spend. That was out of my budget. I sold that lens and I didn't want to spend much more, if anything, than what I got the lens for. So I, I, um, I didn't settle. I found the uh, EOS M6. I looked at the G7X Mark II, but it didn't have the ability to put in an external microphone and that was a deal breaker for me. Um, the other thing is, is that on all the reviews I got, the M6 actually performed better in every situation except for low light. And for me, low light's not that big a deal. If I'm going to do anything low light, it's going to be on a tripod with a long shutter anyways. So I, I don't need low light performance. Yeah, it's actually a replacement for the GoPros because I wanted something that gave me much better quality when, than what the GoPros were providing. So we're going to go out to a local park here and run some tests. I'm a, I brought my gimbal with me. I'm going to run a couple of different uh, scenarios and see what I can come up with. I'm going to put this through the paces. I'm going to head out to a pretty nice lake. I'm going to do some still shots, uh, some still video. I'm going to do some gimbal shots. Um, I'm going to try a variety of different things. I brought a gimbal, a small tripod, and, and uh, handheld. I'm going to do things with the mic and without the mic. Let's see what this thing can do. Right now it's pretty much on full auto except for a couple little things that I've had to tweak and we'll talk about those later. This is probably the worst time of the day in respect to the sun to be shooting. It's straight up. There's not a lot of color in the sky and the shadows are almost not there. It's noon, which we all know as a photographer, that's not the best time to be shooting. But again, this is a test, mostly to see how the camera performs, not necessarily full on color. But these are pretty typical trails around here. This one's quite a bit wider than most, but um, the foliage and the trees and stuff you see are probably half of everything. We'll get into some little pine forests up here a little ways, 
that's going to be your other half. Um, I am in Florida, right outside of Riverview, at the Golden Aster Scrub Preserve Park. It's about 10 minutes from my house. It's a nice little park. It's uh, great to go out and hike with. I did bring my backpack with me loaded. It's just good to get some extra training in with that. It's a little harder to walk soft with 30 extra pounds on your back, but that's okay too. <laughs> well, should have anticipated this. This is Florida. We did have a little bit of rain. Um, I've surveyed the situation and it looks like the feet are gonna get wet. So here we go. made it to the lake. It's about a mile and four tenths in. It's a beautiful lake buried back in here. Remember, we're smack dab in the middle of the city of Riverview. There's a little bit of it. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized lake. Let's go take a look at the trail that goes around it. Looks like an armadillo skull. I guess if you're gonna go, this is a pretty good place to do that. So that little armadillo skull was pretty cool. Uh, this lake is pretty cool. I like this little area. Helps me get away from a city life and the hustle and bustle, but you can't complain. It's a Christmas day in Tampa, just outside of Tampa Riverview. And uh, it's about 72, 73 degrees. And it's just gorgeous out here. Gotta love it. I have um, the gimbal that's on its little tripod sitting on the ground and I'm sitting on the ground. So this is a completely stationary shot to see how stable it is. I did not turn off image stabilization. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be smart enough to know that or not, but we'll see. But it's a good little foot that, that the gimbal is holding onto. And I'll take a picture of it when, we're, when I'm done here and you can see what it looks like. But I'm still out at the lake. Fixing to head back. Uh, got about a mile and a half, maybe a little bit further in. So it's a good little hike for Christmas Day. 
He don't even know we're here. Boy, he's digging in good. <laughs> well, that was a treat. <laughs> hey, Gollum. <laughs> Man, for a little bitty guy, he sure does make a lot of noise. There's a big crane on the other side of this bush. As soon as I pop out, he's gonna take off. I don't know how much I can get of him, but we're gonna give it a try. I, know, I was hoping he'd come across this way, but of course not, he took off the other way. walked right up on top of him, even though I was there. Man, when they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> you can hear them bailing through the woods. 